Uh, we are here with another event um, sponsored by Ivy. Uh, so thank you very much uh, to the European Union for this uh, possibility to uh, keep disseminating best practices about the EU cohesion policies and uh, the development, the sustainable development that uh, we are having here around the European Union. Today with us, Mr. Pleura, uh, Professor and Director of the Metropolitan Incubator of the Metropolitan University of Tirana. So thank you very much, uh, Pleurat, for being with us. Um, thank you. Of course, I apologize because uh, your last name is here uh, in our subtitles, but it's extremely complicated for me. So I'm going to leave you the honor of introducing yourself. Um, okay. As usual, presentation by, by our guest. Uh, and then Q&A at the end. Uh, okay. Enjoy our guest and see you in 15, 20 minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I'm Cleura Turek-Sapi. I'm the director of Metropolitan Incubator, which is part of, which is part of Metropolitan University, Tirana. Uh, I'm here today to explain the importance of business incubation how the funds of EU for innovation change the reality of some businesses in Albania. The business incubator mapping is a dynamic process of business development. It's, it has an infrastructure which supports startups to grow. It has a platform for networking assistance and financial aid for startups to have their own seed funds. It's the best place to find the work and to work with co-office slides with other uh, students from all around the globe. Next slide, please. The services that we that we have in the Metropolitan Incubator is networking activities, marketing assistant, offices, assistant for finance management, assistant on bank loans, presentation, links with education system, links with strategic partners. What we're trying to do is to create a joint uh, atmosphere for startups to grow. And we also provide the accelerator service for startups to grow. So we have some... ...and we commercialize assistance for intellectual property management. Next slide, please. Our role is to create jobs and wealth for startups and companies and create entrepreneurial climate. The focus is to diverse our local economy because we know that the Albanian economy is very uh, narrow. We have to expand it as much as we can. And the hub that we create in a metropolitan incubator is to create a seed fund for startups to grow organically and to create a mentorship program for them. We encourage women and minority entrepreneurships to have a joint atmosphere where they can grow their businesses and we try to link them with community business. One of our startups that was successful is the Artisan Startup, which successfully won 50,000 euros from EU Fund for Innovation. We helped her for application procedures and we helped them to find uh, new partners to buy machines and we provided for her a training program. Here is a clear example where the European community with the help of Challenge Fund uh, successfully injected in the small artisan startup and change the life of this artisan startup. For the first time in the Albanian history, we produce silk, and this is thanks to the support of EU Fund for Innovation. How we do incubate? We do incubate in four stages. Stage number one is pre-incubation. Stage number two is early stages, startups where we gather them together. And we have also classic incubation and graduation incubation incubation startup. We all 
an early stage startup by advising marketing, technical, and legal account. We do classical incubation, and that's accommodation, funding access, network, and support. And we do graduation, marketing class support. So basically, we provide different incubation process. So key success factor for incubation are pre preparation processes, which has to do with selection of surveys and location, local mentors who are family with local conditions, to find a strong sponsor, commitment by government agency, program for improvement of management skills, leading to other small SMEs program and exchange of information. Precondition for incubator. Not all businesses are available for incubation. We have some precondition, which is the market analysis, stakeholder community for support, facilities and services, infrastructure and finance feasibility. So after I did some short analysis about how our business incubator worked, now let's do some pitching practices about businesses for finding funds. We know that the most difficult part for startup businesses and local businesses is to find funding to establish their own businesses. So this is a pitching your businesses for funding requests. problem that you're solving. Current solution in the market and how your product service is innovative. Basically, this is one of the key element about business solution. So we need to provide a solution for marketplace and a solution for clients. So you have to do some key questions in order to understand how to provide a business solution. How are you solving, how are you solving the problem? What is your product or service? What is your value as business? For example, we are e-commerce website. We sell products that search all other websites and find their prices in our in one view, in one click. So that's one solution that can be provided by e-commerce website. Something similar. Apologies for the connection issues. Seems like that uh, there are some uh, some issues with the connection and um, the the broadcasting dropped uh, for our guest. We are trying to reestablish um, the whole system here. In the meanwhile. going to be with you for a couple of minutes um, of course what uh, Pleurat is telling us is quite interesting uh, and then I was already preparing some questions for him um, uh, it's uh, exciting how um, there are some countries where innovation is arriving now and they are becoming leaders so like Albania is one of the examples I remember I visited Tirana in 2017 something like that and I was feeling uh, an incredible atmosphere, vibrant atmosphere. Uh, a lot of people with ideas, willing to um, willing to grow, basically, and and facing uh, a new market. And this is interesting because for people that come from um, like the traditional Western countries, for instance, 
uh, it's quite surprising because I feel that apart from some big metropolis, we, we are losing the excitement. Uh, for instance, in Italy, uh, there is not there is not an exciting, there is not a vibrant uh, economic environment. There is a lot of pessimism. Uh, it's like uh, now the, the the curve is going down. Um, while uh, in in Albania and other uh, countries, this is quite the opposite. There is excitement, and I think that excitement is one of the most important things uh, when we talk about innovation. It's hope, it's vision, uh, it's a matter of picturing the future. So now let me uh, check with our uh, director here uh, how things are going for the reestablishing of the connection. And let's see how we can keep on with this uh, broadcasting. Okay, I get notice that it's coming back. Okay, so we are trying to connect with our guest from Tirana, um, Mr. Pleurat Rexhepi. So we're gonna wait, we're, we're waiting for him to reestablish the connection. And let's see if we keep can keep it up. It's the beautiful of big life. It happens on television and sometimes it happens here as well that there are some transnational complications due to the internet. We are switching virtual, everything is getting virtual, but yet probably the infrastructure all around the world are not totally prepared to support this massive uh, virtualization but still we try to give it up and to be there and thank you again <clears throat> thank you again for um, thank you again uh, to ivy for promoting uh, this set of events that we are running uh, as ethics for growth we are extremely um, excited actually of getting in getting in contact with a lot of different realities here we, we shared uh, ideas with people uh, and organizations from Spain, from Poland, from Italy, now from Albania. Um, and we're seeing how uh, the cohesion policies are, are actually um, impacting transnationally uh, on the uh, European territory. And we are showing a massive amount of best practices and, on, and of uh, excellent projects that actually are being run uh, thanks to these um, funds and thanks to these policies.
Here we are. Okay. Welcome back. I was okay. Sorry for inconvenience about the internet. I don't understand what is happening. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. It happens. Um, so I'm gonna leave you back with your with your presentation. Okay. I am at Thank the you. at the last slides. At the last third slide. Uh, we here until here at the business solution. I mean, can you start again from the business solution? Uh... Now, the most important element after you do the financial analysis is to create analysis of situation. This is by using a SWOT analysis explanation about your business model. You need to explain in detail what are your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats about your business. That's the only way that you can identify and then analyze the current situation of your business. The strengths of the business can be your financial strength, can be your marketing strength. The weakness of business can be com uh, reaction towards com com uh, competition, a bad reaction towards pricing strategy, wrong information, or overreacting in the market. These all can be weaknesses of your businesses. Opportunities can be something about market growth. The market situation, when it changes and when it grows, that's an opportunity for a business. And a threat for the business can become political change, judiciary changes, which can uh, reduce the chances of success for the business. But it is important that when you do a pitching and analysis, you provide all the necessary information in details. And last and not least, is the investment. In the end, after you present, after you provide financial data, after you do all the market research about the business, in the end, you need to request for money towards the investors. So ask for the money, how much do you need to invest to invest Explain why you need the amount of money, who are you planning to use the money, how are you going to achieve your goals, why are your why should investors invest on you, and what will you give in return for investments? So all these things need to be clearly explained. Uh, as the presentation is very short, it's only 20 minutes. I try to be as fast as possible and to finish on time so please if you have a question regarding how the business incubator work if you have a question about how should the business incubator explain in details the coaching and mentoring program please let me know i'm here to help regarding the mentoring processes and thirdly i'm here to help you in regards to uh help for finding an investment through your pitching presentation so the floor is to the questions and answers now thank you thank you uh, uh excellent um yeah like um i have a couple of questions um first um um one first first question let's say uh of course our audience is transnational uh, is the incubator only for Albanian startups or is it open to other European or international uh, projects? At the moment that we operate, uh, the Albanian, we work mainly with the Albanian companies, but we are open for also startups in the region. We have done a couple of memorandum of understanding with north of Macedonia, with Kosovo. We are in the process of doing a, a signing an agreement with European Angel Investment Network, which will create the opportunity to link with the European hub. So yes, uh, in the future, maybe next month, we'll be able to provide a joint training also for comp startup companies that are part of the European Union. Okay, that's, that's great, that's great. Um, since there are a lot of um, uh, hubs all around, uh, all around the world, 
but also in the European Union, it's very interesting to create connection uh, and for the startups also to be contaminated for, for, uh, from ideas that come uh, from, uh, from other countries. Um, now, uh, I have another, another question for you. You mentioned yeah. that uh, you mentioned that the Albanian market, of course, it's not extremely big. We know that it's a little bit narrow. So, uh, how do you support the startups to scale up and eventually get out from Albania and, and expand internationally? Well, as I said to you in the beginning, we do uh, extensive training about internal internationalization of the company. Before a startup going in international market. It needs to create a team in the local market. And our first hint is about developing in the local market. So we have companies that started up very small with only two or three employees, and now they have nine or ten employees. So we provide them a local market advantage analysis, and only when they get a fully uh, pro perfect in the local market, we advise them to open the gates of the international markets. We don't advise companies to go straight into international markets because it's very risky. First of all, it's marketing costs very high. Secondly, you need a lot of financial investors to finance a big sum of money for these ideas. And thirdly, it's very costly in, in financial terms to go in the first steps in international markets. So that's why we always advise to create a full uh, uh, analysis, SWOT analysis in the local market, and then see the opportunity to internationalize. So we provide them as international in, internationalizing on the second stage of development of a startup or a company. So what are usually the conditions to, to internationalize? And what are the markets that you usually approach? Oh, I think we lost him again. Yep. Claudio. Maybe he didn't like your question. <laughs> <laughs> eventually, eventually, he didn't like that. <laughs> I don't think so. It could be uh, possible. No, I think uh, he had some trouble connection. Uh, that's, let me see. He's typing down something in the, in the chat here, but... Uh, he dropped completely. Maybe there, there is some, uh, <laughs> they're cutting him. I don't know why they're censoring him. <laughs> The big power from the top, uh, they are looking for us. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we're, we're gonna ask Ivy. Ivy, are we saying something wrong? That, <laughs> that no, we, there it is. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah. First of all, I, I'd like to not only to thank them, but also, also to say hi to them because I see that there is a comment from the Interact Volunteer Youth team. Uh, uh, so. Here you are, Pleura, uh, we were just um, interacting with, with the audience. Um, so now, uh, the question is, uh, the question was usually what are the markets that you address, uh, like the first markets, and uh, what are the conditions, like after they establish in the, uh, in the local market, what are the conditions for them to say, for you to say, okay, now it's time to approach another market, and what market? First of all, the most important element is about financial position of the company. You cannot uh, give wings to small companies without knowing how to fly. So basically, we create a financial, detailed financial plan about the uh, strengths of companies regarding the financial position of the company. Without having a strong financial position of the company, we do not advise to go internationally. So let's say that they have a strong financial position which means above 200 to 300,000 euros a year. So if a company has this kind of incomes per year, we advise them to go with the neighborhood countries, it depending where the originality of the, uh, of the company is. So let's say if it's an Italian company, we suggest them to go in a Swiss market because that's neighborhood country next to them. 
or to go to France. Uh, so basically, that's the first step in internationaliz in mm -hmm. interna internationalization yeah. of the company. The second stage is about finding a client by creating the e-commerce. We see the opportunities whether the business model can create the e-commerce in their website. And basically, we link with the local Albanian companies to create the e-commerce web page with very interesting prices, a lot lower than in Italy. Nothing. It's not holding, but I think we got the message. Um, I, I assume that, Claudio, we, we're going to contact uh, Pleura to tell him that probably we cannot support the this Q&A time because it's getting in and out constantly. Um, yeah, but uh, Pleura, unfortunately, we do not hear you because I don't know why it, it kicks you out automatically from, from the conversation. Uh, it's, it's quite weird. I don't know why this is happening. Uh, maybe because it is unstable. Um, so I would say that uh, eventually, if there are any questions, um, it's possible to type them here uh, in the chat uh, under the live broadcasting. Uh, and then uh, eventually with Pleurat, we're going to try to to reply. Uh, let's see if we can enter again just to finish this one question. And then eventually for the next ones, uh, if there are any curiosities, you can type them down and we are going to uh, make them uh, arrive to um, to our guest so that he can reply uh, by, by mail or whatever. We are going to bridge. Uh, between uh, eventual questions and uh, the guest. This uh, here it is. So, Clara, I think that uh, it's quite it's quite difficult. I don't know why the connection is unstable and it's kicking you out every once in a while. Uh, I wanted just I wanted to ask you one more question, but maybe. Uh, we can leave it and you can uh, you can type down the answer uh, if you are following us on the page uh, we are gonna type I asked the audience to eventually type some questions I have another questions about the bridge uh, between for instance Italy and Albania like how an, an Italian startup or an Italian company uh, can go to Albania and eventually uh, if you were uh, also functioning as a bridge uh, as a transnational bridge for external companies that want to uh, internal internationalize in uh, in the Albanian market, um, so um, this was actually my final my final question. But maybe yeah. uh, I don't know. You can try to answer, and if it drops, we are gonna close it, and I'm gonna do the greetings. Um, so okay. Here, here. Now the internationalization between Albanian and it Italy Italian companies are very often. Basically, what you need to do is to establish a joint uh, company here in Albania. It's not very long procedure. It takes only a week to establish a, a lawfully a, to open a company. The second stage is to sign an agreement depending on the business that you want to develop. For the Albania, it, uh, Albania it's very low in terms of prices for high tech development like application software development, website development, design development. And it is very interesting market because the majority of Albanians speak speaks Italian uh, and in and English. Very good English. Now, what kind of businesses can be bridged together? It depends what kind of market we are trying to get in. If we are trying to get to get in in a high tech market, there are lots of opportunities to grow, and we do the matchmaking as a business incubator. So if we have an interest interesting company who wants to ex expand in Albania. We try to find the best partner for them and to create the matchmaking together. So that's the solution that we provide as business incubator. Cool, cool. This is excellent. This is actually great. And this is the idea of transnational also cooperation to make this bridge and support for people around the, around the union. In this case, I mean, Albania is not uh, properly uh, a EU country. 
but uh, it's opening its doors basically. So, and especially yeah. with Italy, I, mean, I uh, the, the the culture and the contamination is extremely high. The fact that people speak the language, so it's it's a really I think a very um, it's an asset that both countries should use uh, to to get reciprocal and mutual uh, advantage. Um, so. Thank you very much, um, Pleurat. It was a pleasure to have you here. If there will be any other questions, we are going to mail you, basically. We're going to type them uh, eventually. And if there are some people of our audience that also we are going to listen to this live broadcasting uh, in a different moment as well, you can also try to type them down in the comments, and we are going to contact the guests for you. Um, so if there are people interested in the, in the incubator as well, uh, or just with some curiosities. I so will, thank you very much. I will, yeah. wait, I will wait also online if it's pro if it's not a problem because I think the line is fine now. No, no, I know, I know. I'm just saying now uh, the questions that we had, I, I told you. Uh, okay. But the, since since this live broadcasting, it's gonna be on our page uh, days basically. It's gonna stay there. So some people will be able, uh, some people will watch it maybe tomorrow in two days. Okay. I understand. So whenever they watch it, if there is someone interested, they can contact us and we will contact you for them. Basically. No problem. Okay. So this is the this is the idea. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ivy. Thank you, Pleura. Thank you, thank you. for thank you to the incubator um, of the Metropolitan University of Tirana for for the time for the possibilities uh, of having you as a guest. Um, and keep in touch.